At the various faculties visited, registers were open in compliance with the directive. It was, however, gathered that the lecturers did not sign the register. The situation was different at the Faculty of Social Sciences as registers were yet to be opened in compliance with the school directive. The parking lot at the Ugbao campus of Uniben were filled with vehicles believed to belong to lecturers. Checks, however, revealed that the lecturers were holding a closed-door meeting, obviously, to discuss the next line of action. Speaking on the directive of the federal government, a senior lecturer, the head of the Department of Political Science and Public Administration, Uniben, Dr. Uyek Maogbaide, who expressed disappointment at the pronouncement of the federal government, said that the strike will only be called off on the directive of ASU headquarters. Dr. Uyek Maogbaide added that the possibility of calling off the strike is aimed on the federal government meeting all their demands. Something brought us into the strike. Have we resolved it? We thought they were coming to resolve it. Okay, okay, you will do this. That is what we have been doing all along. There is an agreement. A government that will not agree, uh, the, uh, respect the agreement, it rests with its, own, with its own cities. All lecturers, our decision is that nobody should sign any register. Nobody should go to the classroom. Reacting to the action of the federal government, some members of the public frowned at the manner the federal government threatened the lecturers to go back to work. There should be a negotiation in that part before talking about issuing ultimatum or not. Or rather telling the lecturer, say, look, go back to class, I will pay. But such that word, I will pay, have never been uttered by the federal government. That chapter issuing an, an order that every lecturer should come back to class, they are also right because their colleague died in the struggle of this uh, 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 ASU federal government uh, uh, feud. Giving ultimatum when they have not answered their, their, their request. So it's wrong. It's wrong. They should do something. They cannot pay lecturers who will now teach our future leaders. If they had answered them on time, the, the professor who died shouldn't have died. Why they were they try to negotiate? I'm really in support of the lecturers. I want them to have what they are looking for. You understand? Because this thing, this same thing happened in 2011. You know, federal government, you know, tried to convince them to go back to work, and really they went. So till now, up to now, that their demand is not met. Students have been at home for over six months in public universities as a result of the strike. Patience, Osaogiwa, reporting.